Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan video. Today we're going to be doing one that I think a lot of you will enjoy. Today we're going to be going through my top 12 most rare Bakugan. So we're going to go through the 12 most rare Bakugan I own and uh, do a little bit of talking about them, explain why they're so rare. Some of them might be more of my opinion um, rather than anything else, but I will explain my reasoning so hopefully you can uh, kind of agree with that. Um, there is room for discussing like which ones should come first. Like I'm going to do like number 12 all the way down to number one. There is room for discussion as to uh, which ones should be more rare than others. But uh, it's not a perfect list. It's just more of like I want to showcase my my best 12 I have, like the rarest 12 I have. Um, and I tried to put them in an order. And I'm going to try and explain the reasoning behind that order. But uh, yeah, I kind of just want to jump into it. Um, today, we're going to be using... This uh, magnet right here I got, I think it'll be a little bit better to showcase the Bakugan uh, just because you can see them just a little bit better. And uh, I don't know, I wanted to try it. It's different than a card and uh, you can just see the Bakugan more. It doesn't take up as much space as the uh, as the, um, the magnet cards do. All right, guys. So coming in at number 12, we have a DS exclusive White Naga. Uh, so this Naga was only available during um, the DS version. It was a special edition. It has no attribute. It's complete white Naga. Some people say this is rare. Some people don't. It totally depends on you. Um, because it is a collector's edition of the game, it came with this. These are pretty common because the game sold well. But they are um, the least common of all the Nagas. And uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Because it has no G power, it uh, plays whatever like it, the card it lands on. Whatever the yellow power is uh, glowing. Like the yellow attribute glowing. That's the, the one it plays as, and I think that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and open them up. <laughs> See my card work in there. And uh, I don't know, I, I guess I can try and spin him. Um, yeah, so this is Naga. So, I mean, he's pretty awesome if you can't tell. Uh, super cool Bakugan. Again, only available in the DS Games Special Collector's Edition. Uh, and he is 650 Gs. You can see that. So, uh, I've showcased pretty much all these Bakugan before, but I wanted to do like a nice neat close-up of them all, get them really high definition and just kind of uh, showcase them, which I think is super cool. So he is number 12 on the list. He's not incredibly expensive either. He was like 20, I think he sells like 20 to $30. Um, but again, super cool Bakugan and um, that's why he's number 12 on the list. Up next on the list is Preus 2 or Angelo and Diablo, which is the evolution of Preus. Uh, so this one is specifically the dual sided. Uh, so we'll take a look at both sides um, This guy runs for about $50 online give or take you might be able to find a couple of different prices on these guys, but uh, Around 50 to 50 ish bucks. Um, I got mine for 30. I believe um, So I got a decent deal on him. Uh, he has a b2 and uh, yeah, I mean he's pretty cool uh, the reason he's more rare is because Number one, he's dual-sided, which there's not many like dual-sided Bakugan like this. And uh, he's also a fan favorite from the first season of the show. A lot of people liked him. Um, and I don't know, he's just pretty sought after, so he's very hard to get. A lot of these Bakugan are rare because they're so sought after. But let's go ahead and pop open Angelo here. Um, so yeah, now you got a nice look at Angelo. And uh, do a little rotation there. So y'all can uh, see him. And uh, yeah. And I can go ahead and try and pop open Diablo too. So I think Diablo is the more famous of the two. And uh, yeah, he's also pretty neat Bakugan. Uh, it's really cool because like when you play the cards, like when you, it's really neat because when you play these Bakugan, you get one or the other. So um, I think I think how it works is Diablo is Pyrus Aquas and Angel is Chaos Aquas. I don't know how that works in the, in the like actual game, but in the show it was really nice. Because Marujo could use like both attributes. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and open both sides here. Magnet makes it super easy. Um, yeah, so you can see here G power on Angelo is 550 G's, and then Diablo has 660 G's. So Diablo is a tiny bit stronger. And uh, yeah, I mean it's kind of neat. You can I kind of display mine like that, and just have him resting like that. Pretty cool. Uh, you can also do it like that. Either way. Really cool Bakugan, super fun. Uh, really, to I really like playing with them just because it's so random what side you're going to get. But uh, yeah, so he's number 11 on this list. Coming in at number 10, we have a 
Aquas Prius. So this is a B1 Prius with the wheel, open core. So he was one of the original back on to come out. Um, again, this one is popular simply because it was so popular in the show and is very sought after. Um, Prius here is 250 G's. You can see that right there. Uh, yeah, and he's pretty popular simply because of how popular he was in the show. Everyone wants an Aquas Prius, um, so they feel like Marucho, I guess, in the show. Prius was a really cool character. He was a fun character, and um, yeah, he's pretty popular because of that. Uh, Prius here runs online for about 70-ish dollars, like 60 to 70 bucks. Uh, pretty much anywhere you go, you'll probably be able to find a couple good steals around the internet if you look hard enough. I got mine for 25. I've talked about this in a ton of videos, um, but that was a very uncommon occurrence. And he also has the attribute wheel, so you can see right here he's on Aquas. But if I click this and spin it, it will spin to different attributes. So like there's Subterra, Aquas again, Subterra again, and then there's Darkest. So Subterra, Aquas, and Darkest, which is pretty cool and one of the unique things about Prius. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's him in all his glory. And uh, that's why he's number 10 on the list. So pretty rare, um, but also not too hard to find, especially because you can find other variants of him online without like the wheel or with a G power wheel. Um, so that's why he's number 10. Okay guys, number nine on the list is the special color Viper Helios, sometimes known as a Hex Viper Helios. Uh, really depends, um, but I mean, he's the special color. He's the anime accurate version, which is um, the, the main idea here. Uh, so he is pretty popular. Um, as well as being very rare. He's number nine on the list because he's a Japanese exclusive Bakugan, only came out in Japan, and uh, he's also one of the uh, more f like favorited Bakugan, especially from the second season. Everyone loves Helios. Uh, so this is the like, most anime accurate you can get without custom painting. There we go. And uh, yeah, so this is Viper Helios. So I am a huge fan of Viper Helios. I love this guy. Um, I love how the wings spread out and everything. I, I'm sure I've talked about it in tons of videos. Um, so this guy runs about eh, 70, 80 dollars. You, you can find him for like between anywhere from like 60 to 80 bucks online usually. Um, but he is also a pretty tough find if you're even if you're willing to spend that much money. Um, there's usually like one online and then it'll go away and then another one will pop up randomly online. So it's not like the end of the world. Normally you can kind of run into one of these guys. Um, you just have to be able to be willing to spend the money uh, to get the special color on like this. Uh, so that is why it's number nine on the list. Uh, and then there also are like, you know, there's like a regular pirate version and all kinds of different attributes. But this one is the most sought after because it's anime accurate and uh, all its colors are pretty much show accurate. I don't know. It's weird because in this show, his like feet right here and here are like silver but in this they're blue so I don't know what the reasoning was behind that but uh this is uh according to Bakugan without painting it uh like with markers or paint or anything this is as show accurate as you can get okay guys number eight on our list is a translucent Ventus Master Ingram uh, so this guy is pretty hard to find you can find them every now and then they're just kind of like random when they'll pop up um, this is probably one of the easier Japanese exclusive Baku tech to find online. Uh, so it's not too bad of a find. Uh, you can find them anywhere from like, I don't know, $50, $60 to about $80. Um, I've got this one, I believe I got it for $50, but I've seen one online for about $80. So it really just like kind of depends on uh, when you look. But, I mean, he is awesome. I love that translucent, especially in this light. It looks so sick. Uh, so he's 560 Gs here. Pretty strong. And I'll do a little rotation. Uh, fun fact here, Ventus Ingram is the only Bakugan to have two Ventus symbols on there. And I know you can't really see that in the lighting. There we go. But two Ventus symbols, yeah. Which is super awesome and super neat. Um, yeah, that was a cool fun fact. But uh, he is number eight on the list simply because he is pretty difficult to find. Uh, and then if you do find him, you have to pay about 80 bucks for him. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, he's super cool. Again, he was pretty popular in the show. Uh, I don't know if he was more popular than the original Ingram. Um, but again, pretty hard to find, especially because he's a Japanese exclusive. And uh, yeah, so that's why he's number eight on the list. So number seven on our list is a B1 Ventus Skyrus open core. So pretty rare. 
Um, Ventus Gyrus is incredibly popular from the show as well, just like Preus. Um, very sought after, very tough to find. Uh, there are a couple variants of Skyrus that are a little bit easier. I think the Translucent Skyrus, the Ventus Translucent Skyrus, is pretty easy to find for some reason. Um, but this, this one is tough. Uh, I searched for quite a while to get this and I got it for $60. Uh, they range from that price to a little bit higher. And uh, yeah, so Skyrus is, again, a really awesome Bakugan from the first season of the show. And uh, yeah, she's 320 Gs there. And I'll go ahead and do a spin here, just so you can see her. Again, these are pretty difficult to find. I know a lot of people that are always searching for one for a decent price. Uh, and even if you can find one, sometimes they're broken. So finding one's pretty difficult just because everyone wants one. Um, I think I've even had people in my comment section <laughs> asking where I got this one from. So that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so that's Skyrus. Uh, definitely recommend getting your hands on one if you do happen to find one while you're searching. Uh, this is up next on the list, which is a translucent darkest hydronoid. So incredibly sought after. That is pretty much why it's so rare. These guys go from anywhere from like $200 to $300 easy. Um, hydronoid was one of the most popular characters in the show because it was the bad guy. Uh, he is super popular and he only came out in the Masquerade Evolution pack that was a Walmart exclusive. So you can only find him in that pack and he was very difficult to get your, to get your hands on um, now because he's so sought after by collectors uh, as he's like the main bad guy in the first season and he's also worth a ton of money. Um, and then on top of that his ball design and like just his whole character is awesome. Uh, it's one of the most unique Bakugan I think I've ever seen. He's just so unique looking and so like fearsome. He's just so scary looking and like really, really shows you what a darkest Bakugan should look like. Uh, and I mean, he's just so awesome. So a lot of people really, really looking for this guy. There's a Pyrus version that goes for about $150 to $200 depending. Um, so the Masquerade pack came in a darkest and a Pyrus set. Uh, so they're both circulating, they're both pretty rare, but the darkest is more rare because it's show accurate. Um, yeah, people, when they see this online, like 9 times out of 10, people go crazy for it trying to get it. Uh, bids are always really high, and then if they're just selling them, this, those numbers are always really high up as well. Uh, so that's why this one is next on the list. I, I am losing count. I think we're on 6. I think it's 6. I hope it's 6. If it's in the corner, it's 6. <laughs> I don't know. Up next on the list is a Translucent Pyrus Cross Dragonoid. Uh, so this guy is also a Japanese exclusive, uh, and it was also part of the like collector's edition of the Bakugan Defenders of the Core for the DS. Um, so pretty pretty tough find. You had to get him. Not only did you have to get him, not only did you have to buy the game, but you had to hope hope you got this too. Because I believe that had a couple different versions. Of, of what you could get, but I think this one was displayed, so it's just a matter of time before you got him. Um, and he is really, really cool. He uh, spins and everything. He's a vortex. I think I have to do it like this first, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open him up, talk about him, and uh, get his feet out and everything. He also has a tail. He's very in depth. Uh, I've talked about him a lot too on my channel. And uh, let's get his tail out as well. Okay, let's go ahead and twist him. So he is Vortex, uh, just like Neo Dragonoid and all that. Um, he is an awesome Bakugan. Like the translucent of this is incredible. Um, yeah, so like I said, he is a pretty tough find. Uh, you normally don't see these guys online too much. If you do, they're going from anywhere from like $100 to 120 to 150 Really just depends on who you find. And and this cross dragonoid came in a regular Pyrus, an anime special color Pyrus, Darkus, Aquas, and Ventus, and then this Pyrus translucent that was exclusive to the game only. Uh, and yeah, so he spins exactly like other Vortex Bakugan, and he's also 580 Gs, if you can see that right there. It's right under his head, it's kind of hard to see. Be right there, 580 Gs, so he is pretty tough, uh, especially for a Japanese. The Japanese tend to be a little bit weaker, uh, but yeah. So he is number five, I believe, if my numbers are right. He's number five on the list just because of how popular of a character he was in the show. How hard he was to get uh, in just real life and being a Japanese exclusive. I live in America, so it makes it a more of a tough get for me. Uh, and then just finding him online 
was also pretty challenging. So that's why he's that low on our list. All right, guys, up next on our list is the one probably everyone clicked on this video for. Uh, this is a Pyrus Helios Mark II Japanese exclusive. Uh, the black version, which is considered the more anime accurate version, the most sought after, uh, typically runs online for about 120 bucks. Normally, uh, it can probably get higher than that. Um, but yeah, so there's a ton of versions of, of Helios here, Mark II. Um, but this one is the black version with 540 Gs. Kind of hard to see. My light's not that good. 540 Gs right there. And uh, yeah, so there's like a gray version. There's a clear version that's got some gray in it. Uh, there's Ventus, there's a clear Ventus, there's Aquas, there's all kinds of, of Helios. They made a ton of him. Um, but this one is the most sought after because of how anime accurate it is. And uh, yeah, so pretty tough find. Uh, I found this one pretty easy. I got him for 90 bucks. Uh, and again, those those uh, prices kind of range. Um, but yeah, so he's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people like him. He's a fan favorite. Normally, if you find one of these online, it gets swept up pretty quick. And that is why it is so low on our list. So let's do another quick spin for all you guys watching to check him out. And uh, yeah, that is Helios Mark II. Okay, number three on our list is a special color Minx Elfin. So Minx Elfin has two different Aquas versions. There's like the more gold version, and then there's the special color anime accurate yellow. Uh, so I have the special color anime accurate yellow. Um, this one's very tough find too. You can find them, but they just don't pop up a lot. Like it's almost, it, it's about equal as Helios. You could put these in either order. Um, but this is Minx Elfin and her special anime accurate colors. I can put up, I'll put up a picture right beside, right here of what the other one looks like. So you can take a quick look. And uh, yeah, just kind of showing the difference there. Um, she is 540 Gs as you can see. So uh, she's pretty much the same strength as a lot of the other Japanese exclusive Bakutek, as you call them. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I was a huge fan of Elfin in the show, and this one's pretty difficult to find because Elfin was so popular. And uh, just this specific special color edition was even harder to find. So just like Preus and um, Angelo and Diablo, this one is rare because of how popular it was, same as Ventus Skyrus and everything. And this one is just more difficult to find because of the special coloring. So uh, I don't believe I know exactly how much these run for. I think I got this one for $30 plus some international shipping, but I believe they go for a whole lot more. I just don't have an exact number. But yeah, that is uh, Minx Elfin. Okay guys, second to last one on our list. Number two is Pyrus Infinity Dragonoid. So this one might uh, get some uh, disagreements in the comment section, um, but this is a heavy metal Bakugan from the Technically, it's from the first season of the show. I believe it came out in the second wave of with uh, New Vich Troya, but I can't, I'm not 100% sure on that. You can let me know in the comments. But this is in Pyrus Infinity Dragonoid. Um, pretty unpopular Bakugan because of how different it is from the show. It looks nothing like the one in the show, and I can also pull up an image so you can see what this looks like compared to the one in the show. Um, very, very different Bakugan. Uh, this one right here is on the wing. 680 G's, see that? And uh, yeah, so I got mine for $25, but I think that was an incredibly rare instance because I've seen them go online for like $100. And I just, I put it so low on the list because I never see them. Like I, I was hunting for this thing for around a month and I finally just managed to see one. You see a lot of Darkus, occasionally an Aquas, and I have seen a Chaos, but you just don't, you just do not see them enough. Um, I don't know if that's because people can't find them or just collectors have them and won't sell them. I, I don't know. I just do not see these online enough. Um, so that's why it's so low on the list. And again, this could be probably put up higher on the list, but I just haven't. I mean, maybe you guys have seen this more than I have, but in all my time of, of collecting Bakugan and searching, I have not seen this guy many times. I would say like four or five times tops. And that's just um, people showcasing their collection or just this one and one other I've seen for sale. Um, other than that, I have not seen a Pyrus Infinity Dragonoid pretty much anywhere. And uh, that's why he's so low on our list. But uh, a pretty cool Bakugan. I'm a fan of heavy metal. So uh, he's definitely one of my favorites. 
All right, number one, last on our list, the finale. This is a Darkest Translucent Night Percival. I have made a whole video on this guy. Uh, this should be no surprise, it's number one. This is the rarest Bakugan I own, um, and probably one of the more rare Bakugans in existence. Um, this guy is pretty much impossible to find. There are like two videos of him online from nine years ago, aside from mine that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, there's almost no Google images on him. You have to go to the wiki just to find pictures of him. Um, Japanese exclusive, so it's even harder to find. So let's go ahead and open him up here. There we go. Um, so, I don't know, Knight Percival's really cool. He's got a lot of different moving bits though. Um, so he's got hands and feet and all that stuff. I'll get him open and uh, spin him around so he's looking nice. Uh, mine's G power is still covered, which makes him even more rare. Um, see that completely covered and uh yeah so i looked for this guy for months um until someone finally reached out to me uh, i explained it all in another video but he is very 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 difficult to find and if you have seen me online at all i have a somewhat decent online presence apparently um you'll know that i got a lot of like congratulatory stuff uh, about him when i posted him online just a lot of people saying congrats like glad you glad you found him and all that stuff um so it was pretty funny, but uh, yeah, I'm super proud of this guy. I'll give you guys a good spin. Um, he is just so hard to find, and again, I explained it in another video. I can I can link to it. It'll be in the end cards here coming up soon. Um, but yeah, just an incredibly rare Bakugan. I got him for $100 plus 20 bucks in shipping. Um, I think there's one online currently selling for $500, and that's the first one I've ever seen for sale online at all. Uh, if it hasn't got uh, sold yet. So I really don't know a price on this guy. If I could give like a proper one, I would say around $250 maybe, just because that's more of a median price to what I bought it for to the one currently being sold online. Again, I could be totally wrong. I mean, I just don't see him online at all. And that's why he's number one on the list. Plus he's also super cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is the rarest Bakugan in my collection. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. My name's Jesse, peace out.